Welcome everyone to a Scouts of Entertainment 3v3 Third Age Reforged replay on the Grassy Plains today. Today's replay comes from Mac, who's commanded Ruda once again. He's got a thing for Ruda. Actually, done that, not bad. Done that and Ruda share some of the same units, so it's easy to confuse the two when you're just looking at them and not actually seeing the symbol there and the faction name. So that's on me. Okay, so Mac is commanding Dun Dunland. He's got some two units here of Dunland, sorry, Dunland Outrunners. Over here we have some Riders of Orthanc, which is a crossbow unit on horseback, one of the few units in Reforged that can do that. We want the only one actually. We've got Dunland Pikeman here, and he's actually charging forth here, so I'll put a pause on that. There's some Dunland Clansmen here, two units, along with some Gwetho Trackers here, which is a light tier archer unit. Dunland Pikeman once again. We've got some Trollshire Axios here, either side. Snugger Skirmishers. Dunman Hunters, more done than Clansmen. We've got some Sango Skirmishes behind them. Two units of Blackwalds, Spears of Orthanc, which is a crossbow unit first and foremost. And two units here of Dunnington Veterans. His ally, which is much closer to his opponent than Mac is, is Rudark and by Justin G. We have some Colfer Maidens here, a couple units, already throwing the Javelins here into their enemy. We've got some Rudar Axemen and some Rudar Swordsmen mixed in there. More Rudar Swordsmen here, Ethemol's Tranters as well. We've got some Dumb and Pikemen there. I think we've got some Heronay Nobles over there. We've got some more Ethemol's Tranters and Dumb and Pikemen. Looks to be another unit there of Rudar Swordsmen. we got here a second unit here, Dumb and Pikemen and Ethemol's Tranters, maybe. We've got some Trostry Axe Sowers and Rudar Marksmen. We've got some more Trostry Axe Sowers and Rudar Axemen there. Some Rudar Marksmen again. Colfer Maidens here as well, and more Dunman Outrunners here. Alright. Over here we have Isengard, killed by Morris. He's got some Champions of the White Hand here. We've also got some half Orc Vanguard here. Urka Infantry, Urka Berserkers. Trolls of the White Hand, and Urka Infantry. Urka Pikes, Urka Infantry again, Pikes. More Infantry, Nazgah High. Two units of War Riders, Urka Pikes, and half Orc Vanguard. Now let's go and check out the opposition. We've got here Mirkwood. He's got some Herpang Archers here. Duck Eyes commanding Mirkwood. Herpang Archers again, not armoured up. We've got here some Spears of Amendua, two units there. Two units of Herrick Spearmen. We've got here some Elders of the Elven King. Catapult. Lunar Protectors here, which is a javelin unit and decent spear unit as well. More in the mid tier side than anything else. And our second attacker, or red player, is Orcs in Misty Mountains, coming to Revan of Cordobarn. We've got some heavy goblin halberds here, two units. Mount Uruk Coast, Goblin King's bodyguard, and Uruk and uh, heavy goblin halberds there. Almost said Urukai. Got some war riders here, some heavy goblin spears, goblin archers. We've also got some heavy goblin archers here, which are looks to be under fire. Here. Or okay, they're all on their butts here, but that was because of the Drake buildings. It looks like the Drake buildings ran over them a second ago. So these guys here aren't actually dead; they will rise again. We've got here heavy goblin archers out front. Maybe it's maybe two or three units here of goblin archers. I'm going to say two units there, goblin archers. Yeah, is it two units total of war riders? I believe so. Heavy goblin spears are there. I'm not seeing any black bear mountain berserkers, which is a little bit odd. We'll see what else the misty mountains have up their sleeve. You might have snow trolls, so watch out for snow trolls later. That army seems a little bit small. So we'll see what he reveals later on. Okay, our final player is Khan, member of the Fear Clan, a fellow Fear Clan member, g'day. It is Tay Merleng. Got wind riders of Khan here. Some very ag cataphracts. Nomadic Marauders, a javelin unit too. We've got here some Brotherhood of the Sword, one of my favourite looking units. I think Brotherhood of the Axe is probably my favourite of Khan. And second is Brotherhood of the Sword. The Samurai Middle Earth, I refer to them as. Got some nomadic axemen here. This will be two, three. Two units there and some nomadic warriors here. Two units there, I reckon. You're at halberds out front. Nomadic infantry. I'm guessing two units there. Behind them, we got some brotherhood of the sword again. Nomadic like cavalry. Two units there and some brotherhood of the lance as well. I, I didn't think you could bring two units of swordsmen without incurring some sort of penalty. So hopefully that pays off there for Khan. But we'll head over here first, because that's where the action is beginning. We'll get this battle started, guys. Enjoy. So, you can already see Justin is already surging forwards. Got Drake Williams here. Moving to slow down the enemy, maybe. No, he's actually going to pull back. 
The Wargrider's here charged up. Confirmants here throwing the Jebbies into the Wargrider's flank. They're falling pretty fast. The Javelins looks to be targeting the Heavy Goblin Archers. Also seeing an artillery piece there. Yeah, we saw that before from Mirkwood. Yeah, Ribbon of Corbin, careful of his stakes. Good to see. Looks like Mac is surging towards his opponent as well. We better slow this down a wee bit. So we can see what's going on. Looks like every single player of Mac's alliance is just rushing their opponent. Oh, okay. We had a crap ton of javelins coming from the wooden protectors here, which absolutely massacred the champions of the white hand. They're still doing a tallying count of all the losses. Maybe throwing the javelins a little bit too prematurely. We would be better off saving them maybe for the Urukai Pikes or the Berserkers or the Nazca High. We threw something to the infantry before. Mac. Looks like Taste throwing his cavalry against Max. Now the current cavalry easily outclasses Max. Got Snugger Skirmishes here. Trying to provide some support to their cavalry. Rise of Warthank covering the Snugger Skirmishes. So Mac knows what he's doing there. What is that? Car might have bought Huacha. They did. They seem to be focused on the um Dunning and Clansmen. It's a juicy hit when it hits. Isaac's practically surrounding Mirkwood there in the east. Drake Breathings here. Coffer bands are broken. Drake Breathings are down to 25. The Warbriders are protecting the rear flank of Revan of Cordoban. Snuggish Chemistries are being moved forward. We've got some metal berserkers which are being moved up. We were hidden before. Looks like the Marauders are throwing the Javis into the Snuggish Chemistries. Khan's killing some of his own troops there. Gotta watch out for that. Okay. Justin has his troops in loose formation. Still getting a few hits there. But there's more trying to the targeting the flank of the heavy golden halberds. We've got Ruta Axe moving in. I think Justin has cap superiority there. As you can see here, Isengard is easily overwhelming Mirkwood. He's choking the archers, really preventing them from getting to get going. Or from getting going. Now this is the Yellow King. Could be firing into the Urukai infantry, probably should. Duck Eye probably needs to move these guys back a bit. Their, their own artillery there is catching the majority of that fire. So Morris is getting a big break there. Okay, Revan's sitting over A to help out his ally. Which is in desperate need of it. His entire front line is collapsing. His right flank is basically gone. And Morris could easily move forward, wrap around, and begin moving and outflanking and destroying the Mirkwood units as he makes his way west. Morris has some war riders left. His walks wavering, then shaking. 
we're gonna fall that's got high charging fourth gonna shoot down the elders of the young king it might be in that guy's interest to actually retreat towards Revan's forces because if you look at what Revan's doing here, he's holding his own. There would have been a position for Duck Eye to fall back to, and it would have enabled him to use his archers more effectively as well later on. Instead, he stayed where he was and tried to hold his ground, and that never was going to work out. His own catapult turned against him, essentially, and protected more so his opponent. Now, what's interesting what Justin did here is he charged his cavalry head on into the enemy. Like, on the grassy plains, you have a crap ton of space to move around your forces. He's also dodging stakes. He's also dodging stakes as he moves in as well. He's got over here some heavy golden halberds from Revan. The nobles can move around and charge these guys in the rear or from the flank. Only half the enemy force remains. They're moving against his own forces, so it's in his interest to actually get his cavalry moving and attacking over here. But so far they appear to be keeping it holding back, at least for now. We've got Spears of Warthank here. Sango's Gamish is also firing on the Kandish front line. That fire. Uh, he's hitting some of his own troops there. Mac is having a little bit of success. Wrath of the Sword is trying to outflank them. They've taken a few casualties. The cataphracts charging uh, through their own men, unfortunately, really bunting their charge there. Mac is doing a far better than I thought he would be, actually. Because Tay here had calf superiority, and he's got decent calf as well. He's a heavy lancer calf. They could easily annihilate the Dunning clansmen and the Dunning veterans. They would struggle against the Dunning pikemen, which is why. He's probably hoping his Brotherhood of Sword can take them out. Might be trying to go after the Lonely Clansmen now. His own force is getting in the way. Okay. Revenant Corbrand just lost his general there. Your red halberd's moving up. Only half the enemy force remains. I think Mac needs to regroup. It looks like Mac is trying to actually regroup and get his melee troops under the protection of the pikemen. Let's have a look at the state of his allies here. Justin's in a bit of strife. He's on the verge of being defeated. Edmund's trying to just trying to hang on. Only half the enemy force remains. Revan might have lost his general here, but he still could pull off a win. 72 here to 67. Now this is surprising. I would expect the Merc were destroyed long ago. His forces have done well to hang on so far. We've got William Ramp Patrol here, which were hidden before. Pikemen have got to get a move on. Oh, that is crazy. Loris getting very lucky once again. I thought the William Ramp Patrol were going to for sure fire into the backs of the UK infantry here. They are now. Not sure that, that happened before. The catapult crew is actually alive. So that could actually reclaim it. 75 to 71. 
It's weird. When we left Isengard, he seems like he had everything sorted. But things seem to have taken a small turn for the worst. I mean, he still could win. But it is impressive how that guy's managed to hang on. And actually make Morris probably a little bit nervous right now. Because these forces here need to destroy the Greenwood Watchers and turn around and start attacking their enemy. This unit of Roka infantry shouldn't be pursuing these guys. They need to run and chase down the wooden round patrol unit pronto. Uh, Morris is going to turn, there'll be more switched on. He's going to turn his forces around. We well, got Goblin infantry here from Revan. Yeah, if it wasn't for Revan's assistance, I think Merkel would have fallen a long time ago. I think Revan really helped keep that guy in the game to this point. He definitely ran a lot of interference there with his um, big broodlings and war riders. Amazing. Justin is still not gone. Here it enables you down to five. How's Matt going? Rise of War, thank you. Have defeated Khan successfully. All right. Yeah, Mac has somehow got to get his army over to help his allies out without exhausting it. He's marching, he's walking, he ain't running. Mark's in here loading up. What are they shooting at? Harry and Neville's trying to help out. Here come the Rise of War, thank. They've still got ammunition. I have no idea who they're shooting at. Okay. Our ally lies dead. There Without goes Justin's general. They may lose heart and flee. So it looks like Justin will be the first player on Max team to fall. And Khan was the first player on the other team to fall. What have we got here? Looks like we've got a bunch of Revenge units that maybe broke before, but are coming back. Now it's got high here down to 9. And I know, Khan is still in the fight. Tay here has some radar cataphracts over here. He's also got some of his troops here as well. So both sides are sort of gathering their forces. Battle is certainly interesting to say the least. A few twists and turns I didn't see coming actually. I thought Wooden Realm Patrol was gone a long time ago. So, you know, well done to Duck Eye and Riven sort of bringing what was going to be a certain defeat to actually a victory. Our ally lies dead, slain by the enemy. We must help his men avenge him. Okay, so Mac is really the last great hope of victory here for his team. Balance of power still, you know, relatively even. Slightly in favour of their opponents, though. We've got Snuggles here trying to retreat to their friendly forces. 
being pursued by the Blackwalls. No, it says they're marching. It doesn't say there's so much pursuing. Looks like he split them up a little bit. Elden, Elders of the Elven King here firing in. They still have ammo. If I was Mac, I probably would run my forces after this unit here. At least that way they would have had the snag skirmish between them and the Elders of the Elven King. I'm not saying it would have stopped the fire, but it would have helped out a little bit. Using a bit of fire here to try and take down these black bolts. He's probably better off saving his ammunition. Raven set up another unit here. A depleted unit of oh, the Goblin King bodyguard mixed in with archers, I think. I thought maybe it was just the archers at first. But he's using the Goblin archers as a smoke screen. Maybe Justin could be firing in. What was that? That was a catapult there. Firing on the Riders of Orthanc. And it looks like here we're going to have to have a small break because Mac is sort of retreating his forces a little bit. Going to try and form up again and rethink his approach now that the enemy has a catapult firing at him. Okay, Mac has up his Dumbin Hunters. We've got a nice skirmish phase happening. to be firing at the catapult. Uh, not bad hits there from the catapult. At all. Max has some ammo in the crossbows. Let's go watch out for the rag cataphracts. Tay's got his general in the thick of things. The general can get away. And there he goes. Yeah. Couple's frying on the spears of all thank. It looks like he's firing on the very cataphracts. Greenwood Range is here. Looks like he's targeting the Matic Infantry. Got to find the ones on my monk. You have to think. Hmm. I'll probably times two speed. I think.
Looks like this match is going to go the way of Max opponents. Wow. The general broke. Yep, there's the general right there. And there's Tay getting some revenge. Slaying the last of his enemy's troops. And he killed his general. <laughs> How bad that. By defeating our foe. That's a small comeuppance. So Tay gets revenge on the general that slaughtered his army. Right, so we got Mac here on 1737, Morris 1039, Justin 1807, Tay Merlang 1614, Revan of Korriban 1808, and Duckeye on 1427. Great kill counts, guys. Well done. Okay, Spears of War Thank here 202, Diamond Hunters 119, Diamond Pikeman 102, Blackwalt's here 166, and Trosser Axos here 147 and 192, Daniel Veterans here 109 and 112, so great kill counts there. Unlucky to Max's team, well done to Tay's team, and Duckeye for actually being there at the end and hanging on and clutching victory there, so that was a nice turnaround there, big surprise. Thank you to Mac for sending me the replay. This is Mika from Scouts Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War Battle.